Well, for much more on the markets and on the heels of the Fed's decision to continue with a rate pause, Treasury yields continue to decline this morning with the 10-year yield dropping over 10 basis points. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery to give us some more insights on what you might expect to see. Hey, Jared. Thank you, Brad. And we are indeed seeing the 10-year drop 13 basis points. Looks like market participants are just pricing in a Fed that is probably done hiking, although Paul did not say that himself. Let me just show you what this looks like on a two-month basis. You can see we are well off these highs, which were exactly 5%, 5.0, going back to 2007. That was the highest point since those days. And you can see we have now dropped off quite a bit. Now, on a year-to-date chart, uh, we are still within the upward sloping trend trend channel here, so not looking as dramatic on this time frame, but let me just show you what's happened over the last three months. Now, this top line, this purple line, and by the way, this represents the entire U.S. yield curve from the short end all the way to the long end down here, 30 years. Uh, but this purple line was what ha- was where we were before the Fed announcement. This cyan line that I'm drawing right now, um, that is what's happening today. And then three months ago, that is that orange line down here. And what you notice is we are still up quite a bit from those lows. Um, But I just want to walk through kind of tick by tick what happened yesterday because it's pretty important. There's a lot of data uh, coming through yesterday. We had that Treasury announcement in the morning. But this right here is the net SPY returns. Going back to 2018, what happens around these Fed days? And two things I want uh, you to take a look at. This red line here, this is what usually happens from 2 to 4 p.m. And this is going back to 2022 where we've seen this downtrend. Same thing for the post-Fed day. That's today. That has been trending down as well. But we are seeing the opposite of that. Now, here's what happened in yields. Um, This is what happened uh, yesterday. We got that Treasury funding announcement. We got a drop in yields then. Then we got some jolts data, got another drop. We got the FOMC announcement. We got Powell's uh, briefing. And when that ended, we were down quite a bit from those highs. And if you take a look at what stocks did, kind of the opposite, not quite as bullish as uh, the drop in yields was bearing. But nevertheless, I think it highlights what's going on here. Um, Also, just want to show what's happening in volatility. Uh, We've seen not only stock volatility, but also bond volatility drop. Hard to see it here on this year to date chart, but check out this two month chart. We had a support here, we just broke through that. So it looks like things are moving in the right direction for risk markets. And the people I'm talking to are looking for this bounce maybe a week, maybe two weeks here. We'll have to see how this evolves.